Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to convert improper fraction to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to improper fraction. Let's first understand how to convert improper fraction to mixed fraction. So let's take an example. 11 by 2 can be written as 11 divided by 2. So when we'll divide 11 with 2, we'll get 2 fives are 10 and we'll get 1 as a remainder. 5 is the quotient and 2 is the divisor. Now you have to remember a rule here. Quotient has to be written in the middle. Remainder has to be written in the numerator place and divisor has to be written in the denominator place. D for divisor, D for denominator. So we'll write down here 5 in place of quotient, 1 in place of remainder and 2 in place of divisor. So 11 by 2 can be written as 5, 1 by 2. The next one is 202 by 10. It can be written as 202 divided by 10. So when we'll divide 202 with 10, we'll get here 10 twos are 20. We'll write on 2 below. We cannot divide this 2 with 10. We'll add a 0 here, then 0, and the remainder is equals to 2. Quotient is equals to 20 and divisor is equals to 10. Now we'll write down quotient in the middle, remainder in the numerator place and divisor in the denominator place. That means it can be written as 22 by 10. Now you have to see that this part should be in the simplified form. Here it is not in the simplified form. So for that we need to simplify it. We'll write on 20. 2 by 10. 2 can be divided by 2. 10 can be divided by 2. And finally we'll get here 21 over 5. If you don't want to do this after converting it into the mixed fraction, you can do it before converting it into the mixed fraction. For that you have to see can you simplify this fraction? So we'll do that 202 divided by 10. It can be simplified by 2. It can be simplified by 2. We can write on here 101 over 5. So 101 by 5 means 101 divided by 5. So when we'll do 101 divided by 5, we'll get 5 twos are 10. 1 we will get here, 1 we cannot divide with 5, we'll write on here 0, 0 and the remainder is 1, quotient is 20 and 5 is the divisor. So according to the rule, if I have to write on here, I will write down 20 in the middle, 1 in the numerator place and 5 in the denominator place. So your answer is same. So whatever the way you want to follow, you can follow it. Your answer will always be the same. Now let's understand how to convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. So let's take an example. 2, 3 by 10. So the first step is we will multiply 10 with 2. Write down your answer here, which is equals to 20. Then this number we will add with the number in the numerator place. So 20 plus 3, right on here, it is equals to 23. So this 23, we will write on in the numerator place and this 10, we will write on in the denominator place. So denominator will not change, but your numerator will change. Let's take another example. 4, 5 by 9. So first we will multiply 9 with 4 and write on your answer, you will get 36. Then 36 we will add with 5, we will get here 41. So you can write down this 41 in the numerator place and 9 will come in the denominator place. So this multiplication and addition, whatever the numbers I have written here and here, this is for your understanding. If you don't want to write, you already know how to write, you can directly write on your answer. For example, 15, 7 by 3. So we can multiply 3 with 15. I will get 45. 45 plus 7. When I'll do, I'll get 52. You can directly write on 52 here. Divided by denominator, we will write on below, which is equals to 3. So this fraction will be equals to 52 over 3.
So whatever the way you think, you are able to do it. Just go with that way. Your answer should be right. I hope you already understand the concept. I have shared a worksheet with the answer key in the description box. So please do practice. If you like the video, do not forget to like, subscribe and comment how you find this video. Thanks for watching.